Sensory mapping. This can be a valuable tool in the form of measurable statistical results. The idea behind it is to get everyone you can to wander around the entire area and note any feelings, emotions or sensory response that they get. When we do this we break into groups of two and walk around the entire venue with one of us filming and the other just saying anything that they sense or feel. You may feel silly behaving in a Derek Akora fashion from Most Haunted, as though you're a world famous medium making your TV debut. Once the embarrassment factor is gone and you replay the video, you then note down on a map of the building anything and everything you said. Ideally you should mark on the map as you walk around, but some people feel this hard as they like to close their eyes to possibly get more of a feel of the place. We have been amazed by the results that this method has produced. For example, one venue we went to was a huge park outdoors. The person walking around had never been there before and had been told nothing about the phenomena that had taken place. He walked around and said that he felt he was being watched by something that was stood in the field next to the park and it was from a civil war period time. About three hours later, someone else turned up and had a go at the same thing. He went straight to the same place and said that he felt like there was a cavalier looking at us. Now the interesting thing was neither person had been in the park and they both pointed to somewhere outside of the park even though they both knew it was within the park that previous things had happened. Now some people may think this is a foolish thing to do as though we are claiming to be mediums but you will often get fantastic results from people who think that this is silly. It is a test that can be replicated over and over again and will only give you more and more information. When you've plotted on the map the areas that things happen in or emotions are felt, if possible use a computer program like Photoshop to scan the maps and place the maps on top of each other. This way you will instantly be able to see the correlations if there are any. Failing the computer, the way I used to do this was to hold them up to the light and trace through them, proving you don't need money to do these experiments. If this is done early on in the evening, it may give you a good idea where to place some locked off cameras or microphones. If everyone is feeling a particular emotion in a certain place, it is a good idea to carefully examine the area to see if the architecture or decorations could have caused it. A low ceiling, for example, creating a sense of panic due to the sense of lack of space, or certain colours creating an emotional response, red for anger, blue for peace and so on. We have managed to find in every venue that we have gone to correlations between the mapping process of individuals that seem to defy luck and very often also correspond to the ghost stories of the venue. That is why it is very very important to make sure the people doing this do not know the history of haunting within the building. Do not be afraid to write down anything regardless of how stupid it sounds or feels as someone else may write exactly the same thing. This doesn't prove that it is haunted but will show all the unusual occurrences. It may not produce any evidence for a ghost but it may help ruling out some psychological triggers for sightings. It can also make a very boring night of nothing actually happening reveal some statistical evidence of some worth. Problems. One thing you need to remember is to try and keep whoever is doing this as uncontaminated as possible when it comes to information about the venue and the events that have taken place there. One example of this is in the castle where one room was called the hanging room and someone said they felt as though they couldn't breathe. Now one obvious reason for someone saying this, they may have read the name on the door of the room and subconsciously made up a story in their head which manifested itself by the choking sensation. One method when doing the sensory mapping is to use a table of words. This has been used by parapsychologists all over the world and we have adapted our own version which you will see and be able to print off in the files section.